Hi guys, Angel Bones 84. Just wanted to give you a little view of my small little micro mini farm we have here. This is our house, which is in a subdivision. We have neighbors pretty close right there, which kind of sucks, but you know, whatever. Mm -mm. I'm going to take you to my house and into our backyard. Just kind of a view of my daily life, I suppose. I like to watch other videos of people's little mini farms, so I figured I'd make one of my own. Uh -uh. We don't have a very big house, so, you know, we have things on our front porch that probably should not be here. This actually is trash because for some reason it doesn't work. My dead ficus that I hope comes back. <laughs> actually, let's show you the herb garden first. Because I have to plant something here. It's going to be something useful, though I'm not sure what yet. This ferns are trying to come back. They've got a little green in them, but... <clears throat> This is my little garden. We've got parsley and rosemary and oregano and lavender and there's um, some garlic planted back on that back side and around here. That's what all that white stuff is was from where I was getting the garlic paper off of it. And over here I have some cannas planted that are trying to come up. And it looks like my son's been playing with my little concrete thingy doos here. All this I'd like to rip out and make um, useful. <laughs> right now it's just kind of pretty bushes. They were actually here when we bought the house. They don't really serve any real purpose there. My roses, which I don't think I could ever get rid of. Mm, there's a plow over there that, that we used to use, but um, I don't really use it so much anymore, so I put it out here to be pretty. Here's my dog. I figure one of my dogs can see the other one. Annabelle. And this is my living room. Mm -mm. We live small and that's the way we like it. Uh, we've considered moving into a bigger house, but we just don't really want to. <laughs> we want some land and right now land is very expensive. I'll give you a quick little tour of my house. It's my living room. Um clean right now if you have kids or if you don't have kids your idea of clean might be a little different than mine this is the dog's bedroom um, we don't use that door right there so we just decided to put stuff in front of it my bookshelf and gun rack um, my favorite chair and this is our small little table and this back over here is actually a laundry room slash pantry the dishes that I'm avoiding doing. My kitchen. I actually really like my kitchen. A lot of people walk in the house say the first thing they say is your kitchen is so small. But I actually really like it because I cook a lot and everything is within reach. So I actually use my canisters. Some people have them on just for decoration. No. All this stuff is very well used. <laughs> that corner back over there is like bread and things like that. Moving on. No, oh, these are our fish. We've had these fish for years. That brown came out of our pond. This is a posthumous and an African cichlid. And our turtle. Bubbles. Say hi, Bubbles. He's not very friendly. And down the hallway. See what I mean about having kids. Um, this is my one year old's room, which he is taking a nap in. And this is our bedroom. Uh, um, not very big again. I'm stepping over a baby gate, so excuse the door. Um, we make use of space. I got over the whole like decorative house thing a long time ago. <laughs> and then just our small little bathroom. Nothing to brag about. And my bed. This is an antique bed that I got from my sister-in-law, actually. Um, she had bought it and resold it to me because she said she didn't want to use it. But I really like it. And dressers. I bought these dressers. These are also antique a long time ago. Uh, that and the Chester doors. And with the intention of redoing them, I never did. <laughs> this is 
I didn't that my husband was going to fix 